Coming up on the Round 17 Rap Show of AFL today, we are breaking down a footballing weekend that had absolutely nothing happen, did it, Alex? No, I don't think football actually happened this weekend. Either of our teams won, so I don't think it counts. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> way, not. We lost to Stats Boy because his ruse won, but either way, we're breaking down every single game from the week. We're talking our favourite players, our favourite teams of the round, also some other fun stuff. Alex, what was your favourite moment of this weekend? Uh, probably Bobby Hill getting misnamed a few times. Yeah, I bring that up a couple of times. Mine is probably Dimmer lighting up the Suns because they can't win anytime they play below, what is it? The 28th parallel. Check it out all on the AFL Today Show right now. Andrew Gillen Dillon. <sighs> Tough week to him for him to be like, you know what, man? Umpire is the best it's ever been. Friday night was good. I'll pay that. Everything yeah. else sucked. What yeah. are we doing? It was a schmuzzle across the weekend. I hate talking about umpires, but to reiterate a point from the, you know, you know, we always keep bringing it up. Just the hypocrisy and the sheer just remember like stand, stand, stand. You can't move an inch. Yeah. Like the amount of times this weekend where it's just like a dude sort of doing a bit of a dance. There was one there was today. One where was like, which I think one of the GWS Giants dudes was literally trying to keep his balance, didn't give away the 50, yeah. very smart. There was, there was one one time in the Swanson Kilda game today, the umpire literally told Lewis Melican, I reckon, five times to move. At this point, I'm just like, just play the 50. He hasn't moved. And it's, I'm a Swans fan. It's just like, what are you doing? It's the same as the uh, the 666 warning. What point do we just stop giving warnings? Given the Does fact that happened last night as well? Well, had, yesterday afternoon, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, we've had the 666 in, in for 66 years. It's ridiculous. It like. uh, but to reiterate another point, from the other day. This felt particularly egregious this week, even though some of the games weren't great. But yesterday afternoon was awesome because you had a Port Western Bulldogs game that was fascinating going head to head with an unreal Gold Coast North game. I didn't expect to be saying that sentence. No. But what are we doing with this scheduling? It feels like this fixture is being put together by a drunk madman just throwing darts at a board. It's a Canadian. It's me. It's, it's, a Can- it's, it's, it's actually that a Canadian. Just, that just sounds like it's just me putting it together. Uh, seriously, it's like, oh, double 20. Bang! Two early Arvo games on a Saturday. What do you reckon? Uh, bang! Triple three. Three overlapping games on a Sunday. Off we go. Yes. How can we absolutely hamstring our commercial agreements? And Oh, you know how advertising works, Alex? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, ideally, you have the most eyes humanly possible on said product at any one time. So on your inventory, yes, right. you need to have that reach as many people as possible to eke out as many dollars from the people willing to pay for those ads, right? Yes. If you have five games basically going on concurrently over a weekend, you know what makes it hard? For that to bloody happen! What are we doing? It was ridiculous. If the AFL wants to look like a professional league, as I said the other day on Thursday Night Show, hey, we're not being run by a bunch of like boozy, like smoking hounds just hanging out in like drafty club rooms on a <laughs> Thursday night putting together the teams anymore like it was yeah. the 70s. We've got to take this seriously. You need to let people watch your product. How much footy do you think I watched today, Jim? Uh, Given I went to Marvel to watch the Swans. To be honest, it would have been tough for you to watch anything having gone to one game. So... I saw the first half of uh, Melbourne and West Coast because actually I came in here to do a bit of work before going across to Marvel. Tins were scattered everywhere. Yep, absolutely. I made a mess. It's just it's a scene outside the studio. I saw the last 11 minutes of Brisbane and Adelaide. Yep. Because instead of it being a 440 star like those Twilight games are, they started at 410. So I saw 11 minutes of football. Apparently, um, I was at Rankin murdered a guy. Sure. So I haven't seen it. Checks out. This is ridiculous. It's just getting the fact that we take away Thursday nights, the fact that we've got three overlapping games on a Sunday, the double up on a Saturday. What are we doing? Come on, fix your stuff. Like Next week's going to be great because I've got to watch the Swans game and there's another game going on at the same time that I don't know what's happening. Andrew Dillard walked past me the other day. I'm like, oh, I could have a word. Should I have a word? I'm not going to have a word. I've got a five-year-old here. It might get ugly. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it.